So the world's biggest genocide where 95% of our population was wiped out. Eliminate the Indians entirely, beginning with the Pasquinel brothers. Eliminate? You mean slaughter? They are God's outlaws. Lamanites. Remnants of the lost tribes of Israel. They knew God and they rejected him. Lamanites. Remnants of the lost tribes of Israel. They knew God and they... How do you kill off 111 million great people, loving people, people that are willing to share whatever they have, regardless of how small it is or how much they got. How do you do that? That's a genocide you don't hear in the history books. Absolutely. And so the world's biggest genocide where 95% of our population was wiped out. South American, Native American, we are one. That ancient Jewish people are the ancestors of Native Americans. We are a Jewish people by race and by culture. All of our ceremonial days are exactly the same time as the Jewish people, and that cannot be of any accident or any coincidence at all. South American, Native American, we are one. Well, this here's my, my new front buster. This is my daughter, Catherine. Shalom Aleikum, Jackson Two Bears. You know, according to an ex-congressman of these United States, I heard give a lecture at the Chautauqua this winter. Indians is the lost tribe of Israel. He was an ex-congressman of these United States, I tell you. Oh, Papa, maybe he was mistaken. Oh, no, he was not. Jackson just got a mean, stubborn streak in him is all. I brought Mr. Bernstein, the telegraph operator, out here from town last month. And he stood right where you're standing now. And he talked Hebrew at Jackson for 10 minutes by my watch. They all spoke Hebrew. Time. They all spoke Hebrew. Time. They all spoke Hebrew. Time. And keep in mind, this is what Thomas Jefferson is telling John Adams. Both presidents of the United States. Both of them. From the works of Thomas Jefferson... And 12 volumes Indians of America to be descended from the Jews, from the Israelites. The same laws, usages, rites and ceremonies, the same sacrifices, priests, prophets, fasts and festivals, almost the same religion. And that they all spoke Hebrew. They all spoke Hebrew. Time. They all spoke Hebrew. Time. South American, Native American. We are one. So the world's biggest genocide where 95% of our population was wiped out. And I... Growing up, I knew that what they told you in school about Thanksgiving wasn't true. That's not the true story. The true story behind Thanksgiving was after every killing of a whole village, these European settlers celebrated it and they called it Thanksgiving. Stand this one. Happy Thanksgiving, America. You're saying they exterminated a whole race Jesse, of people? you must have been educated. Sir Jeffrey Amherst, Commander-in-Chief of the British Forces in America, suggests a new weapon to battle the contentious Indians in a letter to another colonel. Could it not be contrived to send the smallpox among these disaffected tribes of Indians? We must, on this occasion, use every stratagem in our power to reduce them. Shortly afterwards, a British officer writes in his journal that the plan is in motion. We gave them two blankets and a handkerchief out of the smallpox hospital. I hope it will have the desired effect. Oppose good men against them. I wish we could make use of this Spaniard's method and hunt them with English dogs, supported by rangers and some light horse, who I think would effectively extirpate or remove that vermin. Read Thomas Jefferson's own words where he talks about exterminating Native Americans. If we are constrained to lift the hatchet against any tribe, we will never lay it down until that tribe is exterminated or driven beyond the Mississippi. Thomas Jefferson to Secretary of War General Henry Dearborn, August 28, 1807. They have seduced the greater part of Wiped out. And I hate to break it to you white people, but you are not. You are Edom. You are Edomites, the descendants of Esau, Jacob's brother. And um, I guess this is where that term comes from, the white man is the devil. Well, in this case, the truth, it hurts oh so bad. So the world's biggest genocide where 95% of our population was wiped. ...is a continuation of 600 years of colonial theft. This very thing about, about stealing land from the indigenous people. Oh, literally every article of clothing I have, literally every piece of food I eat is stolen? 
Damn. And the people who are, are, are mining these raw materials, who are sowing these goods, who are harvesting these foods, they're not even able to eat these foods? Down. And I hate to break it to you white people, but you are not. You are Edom. You are Edomites, the descendants of Esau, Jacob's brother. And um, I guess this is where that term comes from, the white man is the devil. Well, in this case, the truth, it hurts oh so bad. Of the world's biggest genocide where 95% of our population was wiped out. Sure, you all are presented with regarding who the Hebrews in the Bible were and who they are in the earth today, which would be the so called Negroes, Hispanics, the Native Americans, the Aborigines. What is wrong with you people? You should be ashamed of yourselves. After everything these people have been through at the hand of the white man, slaughtered, ran off their land, sold into bondage, had their heritage stolen from them. Would it kill you? Would it kill you to acknowledge the fact that these could be God's chosen elect? Well, evidently so. And unfortunately, in the words of King Solomon, there's nothing new under the sun. As a matter of fact, I'd like to read what King David had to say regarding this. And this is from Psalm 83. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They have a confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom. That's you white people, Edom. Here, all right, we, said, we forgot that we were the Israelites, okay? But we were called Arawaks or Tainos. And Tainos is not what we called ourselves, but that was part of the vernacular. That was the language that we spoke. Tainu is a, is is a uh, loosely a Hebrew word. Okay? Bring it out. When Columbus came here, he came with Hebrew translators. All right. right? He came with Hebrew. If you read any histories on the journals and the voyages of Columbus, he came here. What was it? Eight Hebrew translators. All right. You got. And despite the fact that it's been proven that Native American tribes wrote in ancient Hebrew, a very very ancient form of Hebrew. You still... So the world's biggest genocide where 95% of our population was wiped. Wear clothes or have shoes? You gotta be kidding me, man. None of you are that selfish.